everyone uh, so today we will continue uh, the topic what to do if you lose your ec2 pem key right so let's say you have you are working with your ec2 instances and you use a pem key okay and let's say by any chance if you lose your pem key then what you can do okay so what are the different methods wherein you can you know uh, which can help you uh, if you lose your ec2 pem key so you know, basically we have you know we will be discussing all of three methods today first method is we'll be discussing by creating an ami okay uh, wherein we can create an ami and we can use a different key second is we will be discussing about using sessions manager and third is we we will we will see how we can copy the key data from one a temporary instance to another instance right so these are the three methods that we will be discussing today so let us first focus on the first method that is by creating an m right how we can uh, require a pem key by creating an m so for that you know let's say you already have an ec2 instance which is in a running state okay let me call it as a main server and with that server you have a main key okay so you have a key with the name main key so in this method uh, wherein you are using an ami what you can do is you can simply create an ami of this main server so here you will be creating an ami and from that ami you can just create a new server with a new key okay so you don't have to use this key you have to create a new server with a new key so this is the key that you may have lost let's say so this is one method using which you can recover or let's say you know you can use a new key so there is no such method wherein you can recover your uh, pem key okay you cannot recover your pem key but instead you can replace it with a new key okay so how that replacement can be done is what we will be discussing now so let us first focus on the first method that is by creating an ami so you have your server from that server you can create an ami and from that ami you can create a new server with a new key okay so let's do this practically so let's uh, let you know let me create a main server and uh, for that i know i will have, have to log in to my aws account okay and once i log in let me search for this ec2 so i will be creating a main server and a main key So go to launch instance <clears throat> and let me name it as a main server and in the ami uh, let me choose amazon linux 2 as the operating system and i'll choose t2 micro and here what i will do is i will create a new key pair and let me give it a name as main hyphen key any name you can give i will be giving it a name as main key and i'll choose it as pem and just click on create a key pair so this key pair will get downloaded in your laptop in your machine and in the network i'll just allow http https and what i will do in order to identify the server i will just install uh, install a small script that is a uh, apache script so that i can identify or i can i can identify it from the uh, browser okay so for that let me just write this quickly write this script
so this is a small script wherein i will install apache so this is our installing this will apply install apache and i'll just uh, mention that this is my main server inside the index.html file so that i will be able to access it from the browser so once i have installed that you know i'll just click on launch instance so this instance will get created and i have successfully launched that instance so let me go back to the instances dashboard and i can see that my main server is in a running state now you can see this is in a running state so if i if i try to access it via the public ip over here you can see that i am able to see this content so the reason why i may you know added this content so that i can identify my server so if i go back to this diagram i have created a main server i have created a main key okay so this is a server wherein i have let's say install all my applications i have all my data i have everything and i cannot lose this server okay so let's say by uh, you know go into like you know uh, unfortunately let's say i have lost my pm key so what i will do is i'll go to my downloads folder and you know i can see this is the pen main key that i have downloaded let me just delete it okay so let's say this got deleted okay and you have lost your pen key now what you can do is as i told you you can simply create an ami from this main server and from that ami you can create a new server with a new key so let's uh, do it let me go back to my aws now how to create an ami so just select this server that you have created go to actions here you can find image image and templates and click on create image so so this will help you to create an image and give any name that you want to give let me call it as a main server ami copy the same for the description and you don't you don't have to do anything if you want you can add a tag name is main server ami and just click on create image so this will create an ami and ami creation takes at least 5 minutes okay so if we will wait for 5 minutes and after that we will see whether ami is in a available state or not so here on the left hand side you can find images under images you can find amis so you can click on amis and here you should be able to see the status now you can see it is in a pending state so we will wait for some time until it becomes available okay so now uh, you can see that the ma is uh, in an available state and it took around 2 3 minutes for the ma, uh, MA to become uh, available now as i told you from this ma that we have created we will be needing to create a new server right with a new key so how to create a new server with a new key let's see so just you know for from here select the main server and here in in, in the uh, sorry uh, in the right hand side you can find launch instance from ami just click on it and here let me give it a name and let me call it as a new server and the ami will be selected which is the ami that we have created so you don't have to choose any ami over here and if you scroll down just give it a minute okay so ami this ami got selected I mean, if you scroll down a bit, you will find an option of key pair over here. This is where you have to, instead of creating the existing key pair, that is main key, which we have lost already, you have to just click on create a new key pair over here. And here, just give a new name, that is a let's say new key. So 
okay so you have just chosen a new key and here click on create a key pair okay so this new key pair will get downloaded right new key and now what you can do is in the network settings just allow whatever you want i will allow everything here since it is just a test server i am just allowing uh, everywhere and click on launch instance okay so the instance got created now if i go uh, to the new instance that has been created so this is the new server that got created now and if i just try to access it via the public ip so this is its public ip and let's see what you know message we get over here now again you are getting the same message that is this is my main server so what we have done is we have just created a copy of the main server and we have just used a new key now you know if you want you can just uh, if you feel like you know you do, uh, no more you don't you don't need this server anymore you can just terminate it if required right so this is one method wherein you can create an ami from the main server and from that ami you can create a new server and the new server will uh, take you know it will be like a copy of your main server okay and you will be having using a new key right now in this method what happens is the ip will change now if you focus over here the uh, public ip has changed this was the main server ip and this is the new server ip although the content is same okay the it is any anyways a replica of the main server but what ha has happened is the uh, ip has changed now let's say in case if they ask you in interview that i don't want to lose the ip of my main server i i want that i want to use the main server only okay i want to use the main server only if you want you can use a different key so instead of this main key let's say you can create a new key okay so let's say in interview they ask you that i don't want to create a new server i don't want to create a replica of the main server i want to use my existing main server only but if you want you can just replace this main key with a different key okay that is fine you can change the key but you cannot change the server so that is what we are going to discuss in the uh, you know third uh, let me just write it like this second method that is copying the key data method number 2 let's see what is method number 2 that is copying the key data okay so let, this is what we are going to discuss in in the uh, uh, in the next part now okay so this is copying the key data